that again. Hi everyone, Russell here again. So today we will be doing a, a, a brake upgrade for the Honda Talon. So we will be replacing the rotors and calipers uh, with the front and rear kit from Willwood. Um, it looks great so far. So we'll, uh, if you have any questions, let me know and I'll walk you through step by step. It's a pretty easy process. Uh, and thanks for watching. All right, so here's the front kit. Um, you can see, compare the rotor in size, how much bigger the new rotor is. Um, right here is the new caliper. So you can see the difference um, in size on the calipers. And then it comes with a bracket um, to fit the larger calipers and the bolts. Um, this kit looks pretty amazing. We're gonna move the cotter pin, 40 millimeter castle nut, um, 17 millimeter uh, right there on the top and the bottom there. And pull the caliper off. Uh, once we pull the caliper off, then we're going to uh, pull the hub out. Right, well, we got those two bolts out. We will remove the caliper. 40 millimeter cast on that. I'm gonna remove this uh, rotor guard right here, 10 millimeter nut. Pull that out of the way. Got the castle nut out. And then we're just going to slide that right off the axle and take this over to the workbench. All right, so we got this back on the bench, six millimeter Allens. We are going to remove those four. I just used an impact. Um, take that off. Um, here is the adapter. So it will go just like that. Um, we will reuse these, the four bolts, the original bolts. Okay. And then, um, once we tighten down the four bolts, we'll put the rotors on, and then we will put the retaining clip on there. All right, now that we have the rotor in place, we are going to put the retaining clip in, just like so. And now it is ready to go back on the Honda Talon. Okay, before putting it back in the talon, I put a light film of grease there on the outside uh, where the wheel bearing will go, and then on the inside uh, for the splines of the axle. It's kind of hard to record and do this, but there we go. Um, that slid into place. And so we'll put the castle nut uh, and cotter pin back in there and tighten that up. All right, we're gonna grab the M12 bolts that are supplied. Uh, we're putting one washer on, washer first, and one shim, and then red Loctite um, to hold the adapter bracket on. All right, we will not uh, reassemble the uh, rotor guard um, because of the new rotor is so much larger, it no longer fits, so we will leave that off. All right, so here you can kind of see the orientation um, of how this adapter goes. And like the notch right here, this is where the caliper will bolt up. So we have our red Loctite on there and we'll put these in. I did decide after kind of looking at it, I uh, put one washer and two shims in there just so the bolt doesn't stick out too far so you can see it's still all the way through Let's see if we can get that to focus it's still all the way through so ended up with two shims and one washer and then we're going to tighten those down i believe it's the 35 foot pounds and uh put and then put the caliper on all right so we're going to install the caliper next so you'll see there at the top it's powder coated on this side is not powder coated so uh, we'll make sure that the brake pads are completely spread apart. We're going to slide the brake pads over the rotor 
and then um, it goes like this. So the painted side will be out, and then we'll put uh, the bolts in here. And these don't have any uh, shims, it's just a washer. We're gonna take our brake line with this new supplied bolt. Um, we have our washer, brake line washer um, for the banjo style fitting here. We're gonna pull off the little sticker and see if I can get this started with one hand and thread that in by hand. This is a 14 millimeter bolt. So I just pulled that out of the old caliper and uh, installed into the new one. So here's our finished product on the front. There's not a big difference from front to rear. Uh, the only difference is you have an M12 bolt and an M10 bolt, and on the rear uh, it's both M10s, just different lengths. Um, very easy, very straightforward, totally awesome looking product. Again, you'll see a bleeder valve on the top, a bleeder valve here on the bottom. When, you, when bleeding the brakes, you only use the one that's on the top to bleed that out. Um, also, if you have... Let's see right here. If you are still running a factory brake line, you will have to cut this little um, uh, piece off right there, so it can so it can bolt in. But um, this product looks totally awesome. And keep in mind that the Honda OEM brake pads are ridiculously expensive. I don't know the price for re replacement pads on this, but I would assume they're much cheaper than the OEM Honda. So today we will be working on the 2021 X4 with the HCR 72 inch long travel suspension. So it's, there's not going to be a big difference between uh, the different models. Okay. So to get started here, we're going to uh, remove the 30 millimeter. So the cotter pin, 30 meter, 30 millimeter castle net there. Of course, this has the double shear bracket. So to loosen up the caliper, we're gonna get that 14 millimeter bolt on the top and the one on the bottom. And then we're going to uh, take off these radius rods. So we have a 17 millimeter there and a 17 millimeter right there. All right, so we're gonna take the 30 millimeter castle nut off. Um, um, so I got the 17s and the 14 millimeter bolts taken out so I can take off this double shear plate. Okay. And then, uh, we'll just pull the caliper right back off and we'll just set it up here so it's not dangling on the cable. We'll set that up. All right. I got this loosened up, so we're just going to slowly that out of the bearing and take it over to the workbench. Once back on the workbench, these are six millimeter Allens. I just hit them with the impact. We're going to take um, those four six millimeter Allens and move the rotor off. Then we're going to take the spacer, uh, flip it upside down, Um, set the spacer on with these uh, grooves uh, facing towards you. And then we're going to reuse the factory 6mm Allen bolts and tighten that back down. Once you have those four bolts tightened down, you're going to take the rotor and it will set right into there. And then there's a retaining clip. I can't do this in four at all. There's a little groove that that goes in so we're gonna basically compress this so I'm not able to do that. I can't quite get it with one hand but that retaining clip is gonna hold the rotor into place so we're gonna snap that in all right we have the retaining clip in I was able to do that super easy so you'll see it goes in that notch all the way around it was really easy to just uh, squeeze it in with two hands all right, so I put a thin coat of grease there on the outside and inside on the splines. And then I can't really record and do this, so I'm going to slide um, that back into place. All right, we're going to take our adapter piece. 
So this kind of show you the orientation here. And this adapter piece, so right there on the openings is going to slide into place there. And then we'll put the new caliper into place. Okay, and just to clarify, the shorter, the shorter bolt will go into the top one right there. So see, um, so it'll leave enough clearance between the rotor. And the longer one will go through the double shear brackets. So I couldn't record and put the brake pads in at the same time, so I'll explain real simple. You just kind of lift up over this tab, um, slide the, the pin out, slide both brake pads in, and then uh, slide the pin top and bottom through the brake pads, and then latch it back on that tab right there. Okay, super easy process. And then you'll see, um, so the this is the outside of the caliper, so right here is kind of the unfinished that isn't powder coated. So with the brake pads spread open there with a gap, um, we're going to slide the brake pads right over the rotor. Oh, let's see, I have to, oh, they kind of came back together. So we'll spread those open. Put them, there we go, goes, so the rotor is in between the two brake pads and then we'll put Loctite and the other two uh, bolts there in the top and the bottom. All right, the next step, uh, we will move the brake, uh, remove the brake line from the factory caliper, which is a 14 millimeter. Okay, and then the kit comes with a new bolt. So you'll, you'll put the bolt on, washer, brake line, a washer, and then um, tighten it up to here. Okay, so on this HCR suspension, the brake line will actually run underneath. Well, I can show you the side that's already done. So it'll run underneath that upper radius rod, uh, zip tie it to that little um, opening right there, and then that's what it'll look like. So bolt, washer, brake line, washer. Okay. These are aftermarket brake lines. So if you still have a factory brake line, this is what it's gonna look like. Basically, you're gonna have to cut off this uh, tab right here so it can mount up, um, so it'll mount up fl uh, flush, okay? So factory line, cut it off right there, and then bolt it in there. All right, so once all four are installed, you'll need to uh, bleed um, each one out. Um, get all the air out of the line. So if you notice, uh, these have a, a two bleeder valves, okay? So there's one right here and there's one there. So you only use the one on the top, okay? And then for bleeding out, you will start the furthest away from uh, the master cylinder. So you'll start rear passenger, then do rear driver, front passenger, front driver. Okay, so um, how I do it is I'll have somebody sit in the driver's seat, pump the brakes three or four times. The last time they will hold the brakes down to the floor. I'll come up, crack this open real quick. Um, some air should shoot out and some uh, brake fluid should shoot out. So you just have to uh, maybe do it one, two or three times. So after you open and close this, then you have your uh, driver uh, release the brake pedal, start over, pump three or four times, hold it down and then pop this open, close it uh, until there's no air coming out in a straight brake fluid. So it might take one time, it might take three times, um, but each time um, have them let off the brake, pump it three or four times, hold it down, crack it open, close it, let them release the brakes, start over. So um, once, once everything, once all the air is out of the system, of course, make sure that the master cylinder has, uh, you know, that it's full on uh, brake fluid as well. And uh, um, then you should be good to go.